I want to talk about two games that have been on my mind that I've been watching. Now I know that most of you that watch this channel only watch for massively multiplayer online role-playing games. So we'll start off with that one. There's an upcoming Kickstarter. Shh, don't get scared. It's an MMO called Oath. When I first heard about it, a lot of people were sending me messages saying, hey, what do you think about this? Or cry, you should cover this. I just saw a little bit of it. I didn't think, oh, this is shit or this sucks. I just looked at like a GIF, GIF, and I was like, uh, yeah, this isn't really my kind of game. But then one day I decided, let me watch their Kickstarter video and the things that they say, how transparent they seem, and their goal is what really like got me into this game. And if you look at the mechanics, at the gameplay, it's actually good. Everything that you're seeing in the video is like a placeholder. This could become a completely different looking game and I'm sure it will. But to be honest, like after watching the video or whatever, it's this style has kind of grown on me. So I wouldn't really like care too much, but just seeing the way that the combat plays and the movement and everything, if this is a placeholder and it becomes something great, I can only imagine, you know, being in the hands of what feels like actual players that you can relate to making a game. So if you guys wanna see more about Oath, I will link their Kickstarter below. I was gonna make a video dedicated to this game like weeks and weeks and weeks ago and I never just got to it. It's been weeks or months since I've seen the Kickstarter video and I'm just going off of memory right now. So let's, uh, let's watch it together and let's see how I feel once it's fresh on my mind. I may have more to say. We're on the website at the moment. They've hit a few goals. 67,749 is how much they've made so far. At 40,000, they put a weather system into the game. 50,000 ocean activities, which I'm assuming, I'm hoping, will be naval combat. But even if it's like deep sea diving for treasure and stuff like that, or even underwater combat, that would be awesome. They got a lot of cool stuff here. A lot of cool concept art. Uh, the armor looks cool. The female armor looks great. Let's take a look at the video. So this is what I saw, like five seconds of this in a GIF, and I was like, oh yeah, this isn't for me. And then I watched this video. And I was hey like, guys, okay. welcome to the Oath Kickstarter, a new action combat sandbox MMO from Ready Up Studios. I'm one of the developers working on Oath, and you may know me as Ethan from our Discord server. We decided to do things a bit different than other MMO Kickstarters. We see a lot of companies making Kickstarters with little or no gameplay systems actually developed, just some ideas or some cool concept art, or they have people working there who are really known in the industry. But since we are a new studio, we wanted to do things a bit different, so we decided to invest in making the core gameplay systems first. Do you hear that? They've already made the core gameplay and system so they can show us, give us a taste of what you're paying for, of what you're backing. Not selling you some bullshit where it's just, you know, this is what we want to do. Uh, we have it drawn out on paper, but, uh, you know, give us $40,000 and maybe we can make it happen. If we hit our $100,000 goal, maybe we'll give you guys a beta. Or maybe we'll make a battle royale. Jokes aside, I like Ethan. And then a Kickstarter so we have something to show off. So during this video, we are going to show some of the core features that we've been working on. One thing I want to mention before we get started is since we have a lot this of core gameplay systems right developed already, we don't need funding to pay our team to develop them, which is where a lot of the other Kickstarter funding goes. We are only asking for funding to get content made, things like You're killing character me, models Ethan. updated, You're killing new me. enemies, animation, sound effects, He's etc. So much good shit. We set our goal to the bare minimum we think that we need to get to open beta. Any extra funding after our goal will be used to further develop Oath and add even more features and content. Something to Place keep in mind while watching the video yeah, is like because we are asking for funding in order to get our assets and content <laughs> created. Almost I just hit him with a BM. <laughs> no, but I, I feel like he's a, about to talk about the placeholders and stuff. And obviously you can see right there I spoke about it. But yeah, I mean, the game looks beautiful. Like, I mean, the characters look all chibi and cute, but like the world actually just looks fun. It kind of gives me like Breath of the Wild vibes. A little bit more realistic. Looks like it's like Unreal Engine 4 or something. Could, I, I don't know. I'm not a game developer, but that's what it looks like. Most everything you see in the video is a placeholder that we use for development. Yep. If we reach our goal, everything from character models to sound effects and animations will get a huge update. And that's what really Let's got me excited because I already like what I on. see. And then him saying that is like, wow. The first thing I want to talk about is so combat. Only Oath is action based, so there's no tab targeting like in some other games. No but there's still targeting. quite a few ways for you to hit your target, so let's go through them. 
First we have no target, which is basically just shooting or swinging at nothing. However, if the projectile does end up hitting an enemy, they will take damage. This is also the method used for most melee attacks. You don't have a locked target, but if you swing, you'll hit anything in front of you. The next target type is homing, which means if your crosshair is over a target and it's in range, like your that. skill will then home towards that target, and it's used for projectile skill shots. Lock-on has two steps for locking on targets. First, cast a skill once to enable targeting, and during this time, an enemy or ally, depending on the skill, that you hover with your crosshair will be highlighted and selected. Cast the skill again to use that skill on selected targets. Next we have ground targeting for AoE skills. Simply aim your crosshair at the ground and use the skill to cast it at that location. This combat looks better party than Bless. <laughs> target all the members of your party in range. Oh, shit. How My much money do you need, Bless? Skills are the beam skills. <laughs> to make good beam combat. skills reach you in place, and you can rotate your character to hit targets in front of you. As of now, we have two. Healing beam for guardians, and incinerate for pyromancers. Ooh, awesome. Another important aspect of combat is dodging. Dodging is useful for avoiding enemy attacks so you don't take any damage. You're also immune for the duration of the dodge animation. However, you can only dodge every so often, so make sure you use it wisely. As for crowd control, we currently have stun, freeze, knockup, and knockback. There are many different gathering skills that allow you to harvest different kinds of materials throughout the world. Some of these include woodcutting, mining, and gathering. As your level increases in these skills, you will start collecting rare materials that can be used to create stronger items. As a player, you will also have access to skills such as fishing, skinning, and hunting, which will allow you to partake in a variety of different activities. Life skills. As I mentioned earlier, you can create items using materials collected through various different life skills. There are a variety of different crafting skills which allow you to the create chicken dance different over types there? of items. Using the blacksmithing skill, you can create different weapons and armor, and the higher the quality of material used, the higher quality the crafted item will be. The next important feature I want to talk about is our guild system. At a certain level, guilds can buy a plot of land and build their base how they want in their allowed area. Different wow. buildings cost different resources, and in this example, walls cost stone. You can farm stone throughout the world using That's your gonna life That's going to be fun skills. to do with your and guild. if a guildy places a building, you can build it for them with your own resources. Guilds have the option to declare war against other guilds. This allows open PvP between the two and allows them to attack each other's bases. I'm your base it. walls and buildings can be destroyed and your resources stolen by the enemy guild. Some of the members I'll just send of the guild probably through. defend your base while some blow up the walls. Oh shit. Well, Bob just died. While there currently isn't a plan for full on open world, well, that's an PvP, assassin. there are still ways you see to that like a shadow step? You can request this combat looks so good time, for a Kickstarter game. MMO that's only at sixty thousand dollars. Fuck me. I would take that combat over like I would take that over a handful of MMOs that I've played in the last two years. I don't think I've ever backed an MMO before. I yeah, I have. I, I've backed uh, Crowfall. Recently, actually, I was gonna make a video on Crowfall. The content that I did wasn't really enough to make a video, so give me some time, but this is like the first Kickstarter game that I've seen that actually got me excited. So I, I'm really happy for them hitting, you know, the first few goals, and I wanna see what this game is gonna become, especially since he said like everything is a placeholder, and the fact that I already am a fan of how it looks. Hey, call me weird. I, I know it's like cute right now, maybe I just like cute stuff, but I'm a fan of what I'm seeing already. It's just a, you know, a percentage. There's so much more to come. If you want to check out Oath, you can go to playoath.com and read up on it, or you can Google it like I did, but I want to just read a bit more about it because there's something on the website. So Oath is a new free-to-play open world action combat sandbox MMORPG from Ready Up Studios, so it's sandbox. I mean, it kind of had that idea with uh, him talking about building guild bases like on the map, but I didn't know it was free to play. So that answers that. And it is Unreal Engine 4. Wow, the mini game developer enemy is starting to notice engines. It features action-based combat with many classes to choose from, including Berserker, Pyromancer, Rogue, Guardian, Knight, Ranger, Cryomancer, and more coming. More coming. 
Oath has an advanced social system such as the revolutionized guild land system which allows guilds to purchase land and build their own base to enable special features. Dungeon raids and other challenging PvE related content will play a big role in Oath. Yes, I mean, we see PvP in the video, we know there's going to be GVG, but I'm, I'm happy to hear them speaking about PvE. Because I really just want a good balance. I feel like I've yet to find a game that gives me the perfect balance. Arc Age fills my PvP needs. But when it comes to PvE, there's a few fun things, but the main PvE that I enjoy in Arc Age is the PvE that involves PvP. So, the PvPVE. The stuff you contest. The dungeons and stuff are pretty much like I can do them on autopilot and it doesn't really give me a challenge or I, and I can pug everything pretty much. I have had bad pug experiences, but if you were to combine Arc Age PvP with Final Fantasy XIV PvE, we want players to have to group up and work together to clear content and progress their characters. So we want this to be a community-based game instead of players being able to solo everything. For this reason, the classes mentioned above have roles to fill and are perfectly suited for fulfilling that role. Trinity? I mean, I'm looking at the classes to figure out which one would be the healer. I don't know. While PvE is a big focus of Oath, PvP will also play a strong role. The PvP arena has multiple game modes such as 1v1, 2v2, Capture the Flag, and some new game modes exclusive to Oath which will be available in both ranked and normal modes. Dive in solo or join with a group of friends, the PvP arena is always open. You can also openly dual request anyone at any time for a quick fight anywhere in the world. One distinction we need to make that makes Oath different is that all the cash shop items are cosmetic. I just when you thought it couldn't get better. I know it's a Kickstarter and there's a lot of risk with that. You know, sometimes a lot of Kickstarters, I don't want to say a lot of Kickstarters, but some of them promise things and don't fulfill those promises. So we, we don't know, but I have faith in this one. Mainly because him saying that like, they don't need the money to then build the game and show you like what they have planned. They've already set the base of the game and the core mechanics. And now they just want to upgrade and build on top of that. And I think that was such a good thing that, sorry, sorry if you guys hear the car outside, but those of us looking for an MMO or, you know, haven't found the perfect one, I definitely think you should keep an eye on this. I'll be more than happy to support it, but holy shit, I'm looking at some of these pledge prices. A thousand dollars, 750. Okay, I'm a broke boy, so I don't know if I can pledge that much, but I am going to pledge. I just want to get access to all the closed betas, but oh, fuck, it. I want to get access to the alpha. But to do that is a bit expensive. I understand though, <laughs> I understand. I'm not going to hate on these prices, uh, but it looks like I won't be accessing the alpha. <laughs> not with my wallet. Uh, how long will development take if Kickstarter is a success? If we secure the funding needed, adding the new content to our game base won't take very long at all. If all goes well, we should be able to have our first and maybe second alpha test late Q3 2019 into early Q4 2019. That's, that's really good to know. Some of our rewards include something called vote points. At the end of our Kickstarter, if we are funded, we want our backers to immediately have a say in the development of Oath. So we will launch our vote campaign where backers can log in our website and vote on content they would like added. This can be things such as skills, monsters, bosses, and even playable classes. Damn, they're really letting the community get involved. Crafting, PvP, lore. Oh, there's gonna be lore. MMOs usually can't, they can't drag me in with lore. The only ones that have done that is World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy XIV, uh, Blade and Soul a little bit. It would be cool if this game could do that. So there's, there's so much more and I don't want to waste any more of your time. I think if you guys are interested in this game in the slightest, you should just visit the website. If any of you have, you know, any thoughts on this game you want to discuss or talk about or if any of you plan on backing it i don't know talk to me in the comments i want to hear what you have to say so this is oath i don't have anything bad to say about this everything looks good i'm a little too broke for some of the pledge tiers to get access to what i want but i'm for it so with all that being said i will catch you guys in the next video see you soon friends